Hello, beauties and the Abundant Life group. I'm super excited to be here. My name is Colleen Gallagher and I'll give you all like a few minutes to join um, for here. Hey, Shannon. I'll wave those people. Hey, Lori, how are you? If you guys want to let me know where you are in the world. Hey, Emily, I'd be super grateful. Paloma, I love that name. Um, I'm super grateful to be here and um, sharing this space with you all. So if you do want to just, when you join, say hello or drop something in, I'd be super grateful. Um, I just want to give it some time. I love Washington State, incredible. Um, anyone else? I'm in LA, so I'm in Hollywood. I love it here. Um, I just moved here about a few months ago, but I, I enjoy it a lot. So yeah, I used to live in Phoenix. This makes me happy. I got my, my master's of science from ASU. Connecticut. Yay. We have quite a few beautiful people from all over here. So I want to jump in. Um, I want to be respectful of everyone's time because you're showing up and happy Friday. I have my little mug of, of tea. It says do good. So I hope you all have your wine or your tea, whatever that it is. Um, and without this uh, live, I want it to be really interactive. So I want you guys to ask any questions at any time. If I'm in the middle of a thought, I will come back to the question. Um, but I'm just super grateful and honored that Taylor has uh, co-created the space and allowed me here. So, um, in this call, I have a few notes, but what I really want to talk with you all about um, is, is how to receive money by channeling your spiritual gifts. And the reason that Taylor actually invited me into this group is because about maybe three weeks ago now, I posted something on Facebook and it talked about the COVID-19. And what I shared is that I like many of you have spiritual gifts and I actually saw COVID-19 um, going through the field. So what I mean by the field is air that we breathe are just things that normally maybe we don't see. And I saw COVID-19 as a blue square and then there's a circle behind it and it's moving through space and everything is moving through us. So there, there's two ways to think of this, right? That, that we're moving through life or is life moving through us? And when you look at the uh, astrology of the world, like the Big Bang Theory, and you look at um, the cosmic universe and you study these things, you actually start to come into an awareness that space is moving through us. So everything that's in the air from the sunlight to greens to pollution moves through our body. Um, and I had cancer at a young age, so I had cancer at age 14. And one thing that I truly believe, again, is cancer it has its own programming, its own coding, right? Similar to, to COVID, it has a different type of coding, each, each cancer. And how any illness manifests in the body is when things are moving through us, yet they can't move all the way through us. They get stuck somewhere in the body, whether that's an organ, it's your eye, it's your head, it's your nails, whatever that it is, but things are always moving through us at all times. And when we when we are not living in alignment or i share when, when we are we're, we're moving away from an expansive state we we allow these things to actually get stuck in our body and get stagnant in our body which then god source universe whatever you want to call it as allows us to be immobile through our body through sickness through many diseases regardless of what's going on right now but through many diseases i mean cancer the flu um, uh, an accident, uh, breaking your arm, like those are all things that something was moving through earth and it literally was, it, it became so strong that it couldn't move through you. So there had to be a collision. There had to be a collapse. There had to be something that physically stopped you in your tracks for you to become aware and for you to, to listen. And so, um, basically, from that, Taylor was like, I love your post. I want you to come and, and, and talk with the you guys, you all, you queens and goddesses. So I'm here and I, I want to share uh, just a few things that I, I feel will be really potent for you in this time right now. A few things that I hope really expand you. Uh, I hope to activate you and empower and educate you on how you can really own who it is you're meant to be. And you can really step into the next level of 
of what you desire. You can really share how you perceive the world and what's going on with that. And, and you, can, you can just take action on what feels good for you. So with that, um, I'm gonna jump in. If you have, anyone has any questions about what I just shared with COVID-19 or how Taylor and I met, we've actually spoken on stages before as well too, um, let me know. Um, but I just want you to know that, you know, and I am happy to send you a video if you want the, uh, a video that goes into how space is moving through us, just message me after and I can send you the educational video that, that talks about the science of this. So um, th just know that everything in life is always moving through you. It, it's not so much that, some, that, that you're moving through something, it's, it's everything is moving through you and it's your ability to uh, channel it or to share it as a vessel, as a medium for how it is you wanna impact the world, for how it is you wanna serve the world, or it's your choice to deny some of the gifts that you have or some of the ways that you perceive the world or the emotions that are coming up with you. And you, uh, you, you deny them and then things are gonna manifest in your body, such as, such as a broken arm maybe, or, or, or cancer, or financial issues, or, or health issues, so many ways that this can happen. Um, but I, I just want to share that with you as an opening of, of just keeping that, keeping that frame of everything in your life is moving through you. Um, money is constantly moving through you. Uh, health is moving through you. It's just when you, when you're not living in that space of alignment, things can get densified and they'll block the flow. So it's really important for this whole, this whole little spiel I'm going to share with you. And, um, if you have questions on that let me know. I'm just going to swipe the comments to the right though. So I just can be present with what's coming through for each of you. Um, okay. So uh, the thing I wanted to share about this with the COVID-19 as well, um, from that. So how to receive money by channeling your spiritual and galactic gifts. The thing that I truly know probably about each of you here, whether you realize it or not, you may have not put a name to it, but each of you have availability to have psychic gifts, mediums, meaning that you can talk with other realms. You may know light language or heard of light language. Uh, you probably are clairvoyant or clair, clair hearing. You can hear things, see things, smell things, clair gusto, uh, touch things, and you can do Reiki probably. You've somehow been in the energy world. Uh, that's whatever, whatever capacity, you're an empath, you are someone who really has multi-talented quote unquote spiritual gifts. And Probably a lot of your life, either you haven't accepted them uh, because you, first of all, maybe didn't know they were a gift. And second of all, you, you've probably been embarrassed of them. Uh, for a long time, I was. And I, and I can share my story a little bit about how cancer came. Um, well, I can share it now. But I was, you know, a little girl and I used to see fairies and angels and they would always help me get the right answers on the right test and in group projects. And people would be like, how do you know that? I'm like, the fairy told me or this, this thing told me that's right there. You guys don't see this? You don't see this? being right here and people be like you're crazy no and so i stopped sharing how i perceived the world and and from that point of, of me stopping and sharing how i perceived the world i ended up getting thyroid cancer which was on my throat because it was letting me know that i, I wasn't speaking and i was supposed to be on medication for the rest of my life um, and i had my throat cut twice as soon as i started following my dreams i've never had to be on medication again um, in my life which is really grateful which was three years ago and what I wanted to share with you though, is again, that spiritual gifts is what healed my journey. Those spiritual gifts are what brought me into monetizing my life, into monetizing my passions, into helping hundreds of other people monetize what it is they love. And so the thing I wanted to share with you, because there's a lot going on and, I'm, and this is the last time I bring up COVID and I really want to get into three things I want to share with you each about receiving money from your spiritual gifts, which I've talked about is, you know, there was something that I researched uh, lately and it was this, there's a guy, he added $5 billion to his net worth in the last few months because he's been manufacturing ventilators. Uh, and what I want to share with you is, is I don't believe that this guy just woke up one day and was like, let me, let me do ventilators. I truly, truly believe what I call is intuition. A lot of you have it. A lot of you, all of us have access to it. Some of you may use it. Some of you may not use it. Um, I'd love to hear your gifts if you want to put it in the comments, what you think your gifts are, or what you believe your gifts to be. I always love hearing what everyone's, you know, thing is of, of what spiritual gifts they believe to hold. So that'd be awesome if you want to drop it here. So I know on the call kind of what gifts each of you believe to, uh, or each of you know, to uh, be using as part of your existence. Um, but so what I believe about this guy, though, who added five billion to his net worth during this time from ventilators. I don't believe that this guy just woke up one day, 
and that he was like, we're going to do more ventilators. I believe that he had an intuition that told him, that told him, hey, in whatever reason, oops, one second, I'm just, um, there's like this popped up really quick. There we go. Okay. I really believe that this guy who added 5 billion to his net worth, that he didn't just, uh, who, who added this, he didn't just really wake up one day. I believe that it was probably months ago, something in his intuition came and said, I need to increase the, the amount of ventilators that, that I am manufacturing. I need to really understand what are the amount of of things and he really got into this place of I have no idea why I'm making so many ventilators but I'm just going to trust that I need to make a lot of ventilators because some higher source told me and that's how he added five billion dollars not to his sales five billion dollars to his net worth in this time and so what I want to share with each of you is, is that we go into this is is how do you become someone who adds five billion dollars to your net worth during an epidemic that he is, he's Korean, so he's not even involved in China, or Singapore, sorry, he's from Singapore. He's not involved in China. How could he have predicted this? How could someone add $5 billion to their net worth? And I want you to, I, I, I'm, I'm moving you in this frequency in this live. I really want to get you vibrating there. I want to get your perspective shifting there. And I want you to understand that these things that you perceive in the world from your, I'll go to what you each said, from your intuition, from your vision from your psychic abilities, how do you start to grasp those things as a, as a definite knowing that you know because you know because you know. You don't need to call a coach and question it. You don't need to ask your partner. You don't need to call a friend. You just have a knowing and from that knowing you take action. So you can truly create the impact that you want and from that impact, you're really gonna receive the frequency of money because I, I, I learned, worded this very specifically of, of how to receive money because money is a, is a feminine energy. And money, you can, you can grab it, it can be grabbed, or you can receive it. And I feel like majority of us here, we like to attract things into our life. We're all very uh, vibing in a different, in a, in, a, in a place of we just get to attract. And I wanna go into that metho methodology of, of really understanding what's happening in, in you, really how understanding how you perceive the world, whether it's, like I said, aliens or fairies or psychic or these things, I'm gonna read what, what you all put and how you can really monetize from that. So let me know if that makes sense, everything I shared with you about this guy who's added the five billion, and if you guys have any questions before I move on to it. But okay, Emily, intuition, awesome. Hello, Laura, hey, Taylor. Um, let's see here, I'm trying to, uh, most of the times I see things before they do. So Paloma, you're definitely probably psychic, and you also have timeline shifting, that would be the word. I'm highly sensitive, which is not a gift, which is not, it is a gift. If you're highly sensitive, it's absolutely a gift because you are putting, if you're highly sensitive, it's called, uh, I get the word clear sentiment. You are, you perceive the world through feeling things. You, words don't make sense to you. You've got to feel something to really understand it. You've got to feel it. And if you don't feel it, it's not for you. So anytime, Dara, you go into thinking logically, you go into overanalyzing, that is telling you that's not a situation for me. Every time you go into feeling, I really feel this. This is making me feel alive. This is making me feel inspired. Take the action on that because that's going to allow you to receive money. That, that's a gift of you. You experience the world by feeling. Um, let me see. Shannon, energy, body work for horses, intuition, sees visions, images, and nature. So do you see colors is one thing I'd want to know, Shannon. And the other thing is I'd say is you definitely have psychic and you're definitely clairvoyant. Um, perfect sense. Camelia, hello. I can feel people when I'm with them and their intentions. So Lori, you would be another person. You are clear sentiment. You have to feel people. You, language doesn't make sense. Someone could be telling you blah, blah, blah. And if you don't feel them, it's not it. Same way with your business. Same way with your relationships. You've got to feel it. You've really got to feel it. And if you, if you don't feel it, you're not going to receive abundance. You're not going to, you're not going to allow yourself to be in an abundant state because abundance is something that's already natural to us, but you've got to feel it for that. So that, that's a really great way. Um, Pamela goes, Shannon colors. Okay. Also then, um, besides the Claire, uh, Claire vision, you also, uh, are in tune with Reiki and definitely aligned with the chakra system of really understanding where there's density in someone's body. So how I opened this up was saying that I saw the COVID in the field. You are seeing coding, Shannon, all the time of different uh, illnesses, of different expansions, of different implants, of different DNA upgrades for people. All the time, Shannon, you are literally seeing coding in the quantum field that 
is passing through someone. Again, a positive way to pass through someone would be obviously we want density to pass through us because we're so pure, it, the, the density has nowhere to grab onto. We also have something that in colors where it's expansion can go into us. So there's coating that can move through us that can stay and it actually expands us into another place. So Shannon, that's a really great thing for you to know. I've really been able to hear voices in my head recently from the divine guides. Amazing. Um, I forget the, the wording for this. It's another Clara word, but you definitely, Michaela, are through hearing. So if you are dealing with clients or whatever your business is or whatever your relationships are or friendships, you've, you've got to hear something. You can't just look on social media and, and it's going to make sense. You've got to have videos to everything because the frequency tune is, is what allows you to receive divine guidance from your spiritual and galactic gifts. Yep, uh, I read people's energies and get messages, but ignore them. Okay, Laura, so we're gonna dive into that. So I'm happy I'm doing this with everyone. Um, thank you, Lauren, Laura. So we've gotta understand though how you read people's energies. So is, is it through psychic, is it through sight, is it through smell? There's so many ways to read energy. And so we wanna get you the clarity of that is what you do. And we wanna get you into acceptance, so that's how you do it. And then we wanna get you into a mode of teaching. So that's how you can teach um, other people to come into the greatest version of themselves through them experiencing a new way of being by how you read energy. I hope that makes sense. Thanks. I also did a medium reading with the spirit um, of my boyfriend that passed now and I literally hear him talking to me. Yes, totally. Mediumship is a big one. We all have access to it. I love that you hear that. I've been a medium as well. That's super in incredible. Um, I can tap into people's energy, have David this is awesome, Emily. So you are really, have you heard the Ashtanga reading records? Ashtanga records. Um, that'd be really important, Emily, if you haven't heard of it. That would tell me that you are someone that you exist on the Ashtanga record plane. There, there's multiple planes, right? We're on a 3D plane right now. We have a 5D plane. And a whole nother plane is Ashtanga, uh, kind of like Lumeria. You guys have heard of Lumeria and Atlantis. Whole different plane that you can plan are, are the astral plane, astral world. Uh, I, th I feel intuitively, Emily, that would be something if you haven't looked into, it'd be great for you because people could experience themselves with that. Um, Emily, yeah, you see the soul. So amazing. Okay, so we have lots of galactic gifts in here. We've got lots of you who are, who are channeling spiritual gifts or galactic gifts, which is super beautiful because so many people, you know, you, you guys are aware and that's, that's the biggest thing and, and you really uh, want to help, I think. So, I mean, I mean, leave in the comments here. I'd love to hear. I mean, who in here would be so happy if they could be helping people through this gift you shared and monetizing. Or how many people are monetizing? Share if you, if you have this gift. Um, yes, you are, Taylor. Share, share with me if, if you guys, you, you have awareness of this gift. I'd like to know who in here is sharing this gift and who in here is monetizing this gift. So if you can just comment that, I'd really appreciate so I could see it. So I just have some, some awareness on this. And, and don't, don't be... Um, judgmental or, or, or shy. If you're like, I didn't even know this was a gift or I didn't, whatever. I, I just am asking to, to help. Um, I mean, my purpose is to love people back to life. I love that. And, and Paloma, are you doing that already as a business or is that, is that an idea? Dara, not yet. Okay, perfect. Anyone else? Oh, wait a second. Still working on monetizing. Perfect. Okay. I share, but I haven't monetized it as I, as I'd liked just yet. Okay. Amelia and Amelia, let me know about the stronger records. If you've heard of that, I am making money just starting out. Yeah. Sharon, Lori. Okay. So we've got some good things in here. This is amazing. Um, yes, this is pretty new to me. Okay. I love it. Okay. So I love that all of you are in here. This is new. You guys are open. You are aware. This is going to be super beautiful. So I'm going to share with you three steps. Neither I've been told to use my gift, but I'm afraid to share it or to know how to use them. I have a HSP and a few other things. But I have no idea how to, what is an HSP? Amber, could you let me know what that is? Yay! $300. Yes, girl, bake and bake on a Friday. Um, haven't heard of it. Okay. Emily, all right, but make sure we, we can connect after and I'll send you some stuff about it. And Amber, if you can let me know which HSP, hypnotherapy, I'm guessing that's probably what it is. Um, if you can let me know this. Okay, in this live, I wanna go through three things that I feel were super potent. I have not shared these three things in this way. Every talk I do ever is never the same. Taylor is like that too. Um, everything I promise you I've, is new for this. Uh, it all comes through just for you guys. So whatever group that I'm co-creating with, because uh, I, first of all, I should say, I'm super grateful that you all have co-created being here and you've all allowed me into your reality. You know, at, at any moment, um, you can dissolve me 
and at every moment I want you to know that I'm here for you. So I'm, I'm never going to leave, but whenever you feel called, I, you can dissolve me into out of your reality into your reality and know that it's super important for you to own who it is you truly are. And I'm just a guide on your experience that you created. So anyway, the three things that I want to share with you, wanting to, has been posting inspirational things for years. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna start these things and I'll go back to this. So the three things I wanna share, the first thing that I wanna share with is it's super, super, super important when how to receive money by channeling your spiritual and galactic gifts. Step one is awareness. Now, each of you, what you just said in here is this is pretty new to me. Each of you just started describing to me how you perceive the world. Each of you just started sharing with me, well, I, I feel people, I have energy, I see colors. And you have awareness around this. Sorry, my phone cut. Hi, Lisa. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Amber. Um, I'll come back to that. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> um, so the first thing that I, I really want to share, I'm going to put the comments over here so I can focus what I'm sharing. Um, first thing that I want to say is awareness. So a lot of you who just shared here is you have these highly in tune gifts. You have these way that you perceive the world, whether it's through sensitivity, whether it's through feelings, whether it's through light, whether it's through psychic ability or understanding past lives, past timelines, and how that is relevant to someone today and, and what their the momentum they're going through in their life and creating. And so a lot of us though, we think whatever it is that we perceive the world, we think everybody else perceives it in that way. So there has to be at some point in our life when we come to a newfound awareness that we are unique and that you are special and that you have something that's important to share. And coming to that awareness, as each of you just, we just did an example in here. I could, we probably could go 30 minutes of me just communicating back and forth with you about your gifts, about whatever that it is. We, we would probably do an hour with that to be, go deeper and gain clarity on that and what that means for you and how, how do you find that expression. Yet the thing is, is that awareness. And so how do you become aware? Well, that kind of goes with the second step which I, I'll go into, but I, I really want to share this. Awareness has to come from each of you showing up to something like this. The awareness has to come from you being willing to go, you know what, there's, there's something I want more out of life. I, I'm willing to see that there could be a different way. I'm willing to see that any part of me that I was allowing to suffer doesn't actually have to suffer. I'm going to have an awareness that, that these things that I perceive the world in, light, feeling, highly sensitive person, that it's not made up. It's not just a story that I'm telling myself. I'm going to have an awareness that this is a really real way that I interact with life. This is a really real way that I co-create life with. This is a really real way for me to thrive in life. I'm going to have this awareness within myself so I can really start to thrive. I'm going to have this awareness that I really want to help people. I want to have this awareness that I really could impact someone by just being me. And could I let myself go there? And a lot of what I'm saying right now could be mantras. It could be a meditation. In my first book, Live Your Truth, I talk about a lot of this. Yeah, it, it, you've got to have something in your life where you allow yourself to come into a newfound awareness of just how incredible, powerful, miraculous, abundant, extraordinary, magical person that you already are. There has to be some form of commitment into you that you're committed to become aware of what's truly possible for you. You're committed to become aware that you could help people by who you are right now. You don't need a certification. You don't need to read 500 books. I mean, you're going to get obsessed and you're going to, in whatever it is, once you start going and you're going to want to know. I, I can, I'm sure Taylor is very obsessed about, I know I get obsessed about a lot of things. Taylor and I are very similar. So I can only imagine we both get obsessed about a lot of things that happen. Um, but you, when you have this awareness, it's, it's not that I need to do five books or I can't do it because you, you literally become obsessed. Um, for I shared a little bit, I have my master's of science, I'm getting my PhD in, in psychology. I have an obsession with education. And it's not that I believe everyone needs to be in academia yet. I just really have an obsession with people living into their fullest potential and what that can mean for them. And so you're going to end up becoming obsessed in whatever you're aware about, your newfound awareness, your newfound gift. And so just having this awareness that you have a gift, it's unique to you. And all of us could be mediums. All of us could be clairvoyant. All of us could do as strongest. All of us could be 
frequency of money. All of us could be teaching about these spiritual gifts. All of us could do it all, right? We can all do it all. We all have it available to us. Yet it's just choosing in this awareness to focus on what makes you happy. What's the part that you're, what do you look at on YouTube? What do you text your friends about? What are your books that you already have? I guarantee you, when you look at YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and your text messages, there'll be five to seven keywords that tell you exactly what your purpose is. They tell you exactly what you're obsessed about already. It's the conversations you have time and time again and you don't even realize you're having them. And that's the awareness we wanna get you in so you can start getting into a state of receiving money by channeling your spiritual gifts. Does that make sense? Um, or does someone wanna put any questions about the first step awareness? I know I sh was putting out a lot there and I'll read these things on it. Let me know. Um, highly sensitive person. I'll come back to the highly sensitive person. This is good. Meditation. Yes, Lisa. Okay, perfect. Yes, okay. So it makes sense to everyone. If there's any questions, let me know. I'm just swiping the screen over so I focus when I'm doing it. Um, okay, but step number two that I really want you to do is you have an awareness, right? Each of you just basically by showing up to this, you have an awareness that you're unique. You have at some level, at a soul level, you know there's something special about you or you wouldn't be here. Like your mind can have all the chatter, but at, at a soul level, you know. And you know about this quantum field. You know about the coding. You know everything that I'm already saying. It may feel new to you, but... At, a, at some level, you know, or you wouldn't be here. And so the second thing that I really want you to go to, and this is the biggest part, especially with women, and that's why I love being here in, in, in an environment and co-creating like this, is acceptance. You have got to come into an acceptance that you are highly sensitive, that you're psychic, that you hear people that aren't in the physical 3D, that you could, I don't really like the D word, D-E-A-D. I don't like that word, but I, I don't say it. So if people that are not on this, this plane, you, you communicate with them, that you see colors, that you can see the quantum field of coding going through people and you can understand where there's blockages in someone's body, that you can hear thoughts of someone, that you can see the future of someone, you can see someone's past lifetimes and timelines and what that means for them right now. You have to come into a place of acceptance that you're not crazy, you're not too over the top, you're not whatever, like you have to come into acceptance of everything that the past has told you, whoever has made fun of you, the boyfriends, the girlfriends, parents, you've got to just come into this newfound place of peace and acceptance that these things are what you're here to do. These things are what you're here to do to monetize your life. These things are what you're here to provide clarity to others. These things are, are equally related to a business. Now I'll go back to that same guy I said that, that I talked about, I had $5 billion to his net worth. I don't believe that, like I said, he woke up and he goes, oh, there's an epidemic, I'm, I'm doing this. I believe a year ago, he started planning more ventilators. I have no proof of this, this is strictly my intuition. I believe a year ago, he got an intuitive hit that said, you're gonna need X amount of ventilators for X amount of time, don't know why, just do it. And he did it. And I believe now what happened? So many ventilators were needed around the world globally. Who had him? Because a year ago, he listened because of his spiritual gift. That's exactly how to receive money by channeling your spiritual gift. It's exactly how to receive abundance. It's exactly how to receive the ideas that are going to help people. Whatever you believe about COVID, it doesn't matter. The ventilators are at some point needed, at some way needed, or he wouldn't be selling them. Whatever we believe, I mean, he, he, he did the thing. I don't think he co-created whatever's going on, but he, did, he, he showed up to help people. And if you really are committed to showing up to help people, then the receiving money part kind of becomes mundane because you just care about other people understanding their life experiences through you. So let me give you an example of this, uh, of acceptance. So, so a lot of people in my whole life have told me like I'm, I'm very uh, what's it, smart. They tell me I'm very smart. And I'm like, oh, whatever, I don't really get that or uh, uh, whatever it is. And so people be like, oh, you're very emotional, you're sensitive. And people tell me all these things about myself. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's great. And I, and I never really thought much about it. And people would say, you know, but when you write your words, when you, when you write things, I, I, put, I can put words to my feelings. I can understand myself. And I, and I never got that. I never accepted that. I was like, what does that mean? People understand themselves through what I share. I never got it. Well, here's what I'm gonna tell you. I was reading a, a friend of mine. She does a beautiful uh, blog post once a week and I, I get her emails and she wrote this post. And I had never in my life felt something that I couldn't put words to. 
And I, it was just this beautiful thing about apologizing. And it was, I, I did it about, I made the blog about apologizing to yourself, but it was, could be to a partner, to whatever. And, and I, and I came to myself in that moment and I, and I wrote her back this, this message of what her post meant to me and what I experienced in that. And all she responded was my beautiful darling. Thank you so much for you for giving this. I'm so sorry to hear, you know, whatever that I shared. And of course this is happening for you in a divine timing. Now, why I'm sharing this story with you is because if you could just allow yourself to come into acceptance, because many times I haven't come into that acceptance, I, I'm getting there, I've gotten there, I've come a long way, and you can hear this language that I hope you can imprint into your own life uh, as I'm sharing this with you, yet it, we want to get you into a state that you can accept that these things of how you perceive the world through psychic, through mediumship, through aliens, through fairies, through leprechauns, through leaves, through language, whatever it is that you, you, you perceive, that we get you accepting that's part of who you are. We get you accepting that when you share these things with everybody, the person at the coffee store, to your partner, to your friend, to on here, that when you get into that place of accepting, you no longer are going, how do I become abundant? I need to get into a vibe of abundancy. How do I get into the vibe of abundancy? I want to be abundant. I want to be abundant. Where is the abundancy? Like, and, and Taylor talks about this, you know, put, that's pushing it away. And a lot of times we're like, but I, I, I just want it. And it's like, but awareness, from that awareness, you're focused on the money instead of focusing on how you as a spiritual being can help people and from that receive. Because the greatest gift isn't the money. The greatest gift is receive, allowing someone else to receive who they're meant to be. When you truly think about what is your greatest gift you could give on this planet, is it a million dollars that that's your greatest gift you could receive in this planet? No, you wanna receive a million dollars so you could give it all away. You wanna give whatever you have away because someone allow, you allow through you for someone else to experience life differently, from someone else to remember something totally separate from who they're being right now. And so you want to have this awareness, which is step one is what I was sharing of, of, of how to really go into, these are gifts that I have. These are real things that I experience. To two, do be in acceptance. I totally accept who I am. I totally accept that these can seem crazy to some people. I totally accept that not everyone knows they have these gifts available to them. I totally accept that at one point, I didn't know that these were gifts. And now I can realize that this is actually something that can be a guidance system for me to have a solution to a problem that's occurring five years down the road. Do you see how this works? If you're a psychic and you can see things, you know things already. You're just not taking the action on it because you don't yet believe that it's going to empower someone or, or help someone because you're focused on the instant result of receiving money. Let me know if this makes sense. Um, with everyone. I know I'm sharing a lot. Um, so let me know if this makes sense or what everyone is feeling from it or if you guys have any questions particular to your life from that one. Because I, I, I know as women, we have, a huge pro, we have a huge opportunity for accepting. Because whether it's Disney movies, which you, that's a whole nother thing um, we could go into. And I just learned, if you haven't watched the documentary, Hollywood is owned by the CIA <laughs> and, uh, Disney owns like everything. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of programming that has gone in us as women and especially, you know, whether you want to say spiritual frequency in tune women, whatever that it is, um, you, we have this ability that we, we can really operate on a different operating system. You know, I, I, I've tried to function on an operating system of, of logic. I, mean, I, I worked for a $23 billion company after college and I grew my territory zero to a million in eight months, then five million to eight million in eight months. And then I left that and moved across the world to New Zealand and got a job with a $400 million company at 23 years old. And I, this is all before 23. And, um, and um, I, I had these, the, I covered five countries basically. And so... I had this system, right? This operating system of logic I was trying to go through. And, you, and until I switched into feelings, where I let my feelings guide the logic, that's when things shifted. And where I was going with that is we come into this place as women with, where we're so afraid to be rejected. And that's not our fault. It's an implant that's placed upon us, but we have all this. But the reality is that we're not afraid of being rejected. We just want to feel accepted. 
And as soon as you can go into that moment of, I no longer care about being rejected, I just wanna be accepted and I accept me. It's not even I want, I, I just accept me. So if I accept me, you can't reject me. If you can just go into that place of openness, like, I accept me. And from that place of accepting me, you, you now just receive money by channeling your divine gifts. And, and that's the place of acceptance we want to get you in with your gifts, with what, with, with anything that it is, with meditation, with light language, with seeing aliens. I mean, if you know right now with COVID-19, I know all of you know, there are so many alien landings happening right now. It's out of freaking control. Like there are so many that are going on and, and in positive ways, there's a lot of child sex trafficking that is being stopped during this time right now. Um, I just, I said in the beginning, I'm a researcher, so I, I'm always researching. And I know I, sometimes I wish I was, I didn't know things. That'd be great. <laughs> but I, I do. And I, and I just wanted to share that. So, okay, let's go here. I want to look at these comments and make sure taking it all in love. I'm so happy. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know if I ever knew there was a point in time where I knew I was psychic. I think it still gets crazier and crazier. I was on a lecture last night for AS, Arizona State University and I was, I was doing this lecture and uh, it was for people who are 18 to 21 years old and I'm helping them see, expanding their mind of what could be possible for them. So how they could be a business owner, a purpose-driven business owner. And um, I'm on this lecture, right? And I, like, some of them are muted because they're nervous, you know? And I like unmute them and there was two girls, like I called on these two, actually three, two girls and a guy. I unmuted them and they unmuted themselves at the same time. And I was like, okay, everyone, my psychic abilities have gotten to the next level. The fact that there's like 20 of you in here and I just randomly picked you and like at the same time, I can't see them clicking on their mouse. Like I went to undo it and I was like, we were playing this game of I unmuted them, but they muted themselves because Zoom couldn't update it as quickly. I was like, okay, this just got to a whole new level. So I think like there's these gifts always come at new levels and, these, and, and, and that's just a funny example. It's not like that's saving the world psychic, but I was like, if I was actually could do that there and I could use that in my business and I could use that in my abilities, like what would be possible for me? And that was just an awareness. That was, you know, no, no, step one, that was just an awareness. I'm using my own methodology. I didn't even know I was going to teach you. Um, but that was just awareness for me. And from awareness, I came to acceptance of, oh my God, did I just then say I was psychic to these kids who don't even know? And I'm like, but they just laughed. And I was like, at least I'm being real and honest on who I am. And no one made fun of me, nothing. So I, I, I feel with all these gifts, we have access to all of them. It's just, it's just how we, where's our focal point from the focal point of, of that, then we can start to receive and monetizing it and impacting. Let me know if that makes sense on, on, on Shira. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Yes. Amber, I get inspired to share, but then sometimes choose not to act on it. Social media. And the next one we're Shannon, your psychic abilities are on point. The next step three is courage to communicate. And we're going to talk about it on, on that. So um, I love your alien viewing stories. Yes. For years, my family shamed me for my gifts, even if they wanted to take me to a mental hospital. Pamela, thanks so much for sharing that. I feel a lot of times, you know, I've been called crazy a lot my whole life. Anushriya. Okay. Anushriya. I hope I'm saying it right. Thank you, Taylor. Um, and I, I feel with the mental hospital, um, I, I'll, I've had a lot of people do this and even with the the joker that just came out or, or they go into this place a lot of people think they're crazy or your dad hasn't believed you your mom hasn't believed you whatever that was um there's gotta be and i and i, I feel that's the work so first of all great awareness step number one the awareness i, I thought i was crazy or in a mental hospital these are gifts someone doesn't add five billion dollars to their net worth back to this thing by being a normal human being. I, 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 don't, I don't even care who you are. I don't care what psychologist you are. Actually, I, I, I know no psychologist would argue with me. <laughs> like if you look at Alan Watts, if you look at, I mean, anyone, they would not argue with this. A normal person doesn't add $5 billion to their net worth. He had a knowing. There is something not right there. There's something normal. I shouldn't say not right. There was something that was not normal that he had some ability to know something. And if you look at most people, you know that I, I just did a lecture actually on COVID-19 specifically. It's on YouTube. I can share the link here, but I talk about Steve Jobs and Bill Gates and no one's talking about Steve Jobs right now. Steve Jobs and Bill Gates opened up Apple and Microsoft one year apart from each other. Exact, both April, oh, April 18th and 19th of like 1978, eight and 1979. Don't you find that ironic that, that two technology revolution geniuses of the world opened their business a year apart? And now the space revolution, we have a space revolution that's going on with Elon Musk, uh, Richard Branson, and um, Jeff Bezos. Two of them 
have private companies, Elon Musk and, and Jeff Bezos. Richards is public, a public company. 2000 to 2002, all opened in the same month, in, this, in, in the year they opened. Don't, that, that, you can't tell me that there's not a higher intelligence. I don't care if you want to call it a mental hospital, if you want to call it crazy. I, I don't really like those words, so I don't say those words. That, that, that there is something there. That, that in, in, your, your parents or whoever it is or whoever in the past has called you crazy, has called whatever, they're the ones that aren't, aren't able to see it. And, and that's not me being mean. I'm not being judgmental. I'm just sharing like we all have access, right? We all have the availability to be a medium. We all, like, you are each special. All of us are very special, right? We each have a special gift. Yet all of us can have each other's special gift. It's just what is the thing that you obsess over? Because we all have an intuition and obsessive that's unique to our human DNA, which goes back to the coding that goes through us, which our body has specifically allowed to stop in us because that's our part in the equation. So, if, you know, even the universe, if you, if you do, uh, some guy did a, um, full, or an astrologer did an equation and the equation was, uh, the numbers of the universe. So actually if you do all the frequencies and densities in the whole universe, it all goes back to the number 44, which is very interesting to me. So everything that's going through you, you play a part in a larger equation. You're part of the equation. You're from the, the cosmic universe. And there's a guy, um, I can give his name after I'm slipping me right now, but he, he was a PhD researcher and he studied specifically Rudolf Steiner, Ru brilliant guy. If you want to listen on Spotify, he's, he's dead now, but he's incredible. He studied the body. And then from the body, he went into how to know that our body, like the bone DNA is actually from the cosmic universe. So anyway, go back to that. So yes, Lori, you're right. Okay, third one, courage to communicate. So I hope that answered your question with the crazy of, of these thoughts of we're crazy or, or mental institute or whatever. There's a way to communicate, which we're gonna go courage to communicate. This is the next one um, that, that people can receive you, right? There's a way that you can communicate where people are excited to receive you. People can, you, they can, they can, you can share and it can land. And that's where we want to go. So even you, know, I say, uh, there's a beautiful photo I always show of, you know, over the sun, a lot of times when the sun is setting or even the moon, if you really look at clouds or the way that the light is, you can see spaceships that are coming through it actually. Now, if I were to say that all the time into a group of researchers, they would go, you have lost your mind. What are you talking about? But if I go, Hey guys, there's this density or this light and I communicate it in a way that makes sense to the audience. Well, now we have a ground zero which is like, I like love to call ground zero. So well, we're gonna go here, courage to communicate, which is the third thing. So a lot of you, right, you, you have this awareness, now we're moving into acceptance, now we have to have the courage to communicate. So some people I know, um, I love social media, I know Taylor, we all know Taylor loves social media, which is a good thing, and we want Taylor to be on social media, we want everyone to be on social media. Um, but people can be really scared, right? You can have a lot of fear of, well, if I say that, what are my neighbors gonna think? What are my friends gonna think? What are these people? like? we all go into this, you know, and I can, you know, when even Taylor and I started our journeys, I'm sure both of us have that, you know, I haven't had that exact conversation with her, but I would guess from the psychology of Taylor, that's definitely something she's had to overcome. Just same with me is, is, but you have to have this awareness, right? That you're here for something greater. And if you're here for the awareness of how to receive money, which I, I purposely ironically did that, how to receive money. So I want to receive money. I want to receive money. Get me in the state of receiving money. Well, your awareness to serve people, you're always gonna find an excuse why to not make money. You'll never find an excuse why you can't help someone. Think about it. So I was just in the store the other day and I really don't wanna go grocery shopping in LA right now because it's, it's too long. And I was like, okay, this is not a good vibe for me to be in. I need, I need, to, I need to switch this vibe. So it's like, I'm gonna be excited to go to the grocery store. I'm gonna be excited. It's gonna be great. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I get there, right? And what do you know? There is a woman I'm checking out and her card declines when she had two kids. So I paid for her groceries and, and I left. Now, my courage to communicate, right? That was just communication to myself. But if I would have allowed these negative thoughts to go in my head and, head and go on, I couldn't have created an opportunity where I could have felt good about helping someone. And it's not about me helping someone. I don't, I'm not, I don't care about that. But I'm saying the reason that that happened is because I got into a feeling good state. The reason that I even saw that her card was declined because I had the availability to be present instead of so busy and how everything's chaotic, there's all these things going on, what's the truth, da 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 I didn't care about that. I was in my awareness and I was in acceptance. I've got to go to the grocery store and I'm going to be excited about it. And look what happened. Two kids who maybe didn't get their favorite and I got them chocolate. They didn't even, maybe hadn't done chocolate in a long time, you know, got that. That's the courage to communicate to yourself dialogue, which starts there, which then communicates into social media, which then communicates into other people. The only thing holding you back is you. The only thing that you think you're crazy is you. 
people will not understand it. Yet if you can then find the ground zero. So on social media, let's say you go, oh, Hey everyone, I, you know, I traveled to the astral plane last night, or I saw an alien last night, or I, when I was talking about coding of COVID-19, I go, how can I communicate this in a way that makes sense? I go, if I can just share this in a way of perspective where business, so I shared about this guy with the ventilator is Jeff Bezos. I shared like a few things. And then I dropped that, that, that I could see this coding of COVID in, in the field. Well, that caused the ground zero because I wasn't so, oh my God, there's a COVID coding that's going through the field and it enters in your nose and, and then it could go there and it's density and the, now people are lost. That's, that's too far. But if I could organize it in a story that guided others, now we just made a ground zero. We, we made a ground zero of a conversation could be birthed, a connection could be birthed. So with whatever gifts that you have, if it's mediumship, if it's light, if it's whatever, you wanna start just going, if I knew nothing about this, like now for some of you, you didn't even know you were a medium, or you didn't even know you were psychic, and now you're like, shoot, I'm psychic, I gotta, I gotta read into this. You could start then explaining, you know, everyone, I, I, I remember I was having these visions of people or I was seeing these timelines of people or whatever it is each of you want to call it. I was seeing this and I, I didn't know how to explain it. I didn't know how to, to share it. So I showed up on a live and I realized that that's a gift. And from this gift, I want to, I want to help you. I don't really know how I can help yet, but if, if you've experienced this or you're trying to find some answers in your life, you're trying to find some clarity, reach out. Let me even see if I can help you. So little about this life is about making money and it's so much more of getting curious on how we can help people. The more curious you get about how you can help someone, I promise you the more money you're gonna make. The more curious you can get about your gifts, the more curious you can get about your obsession, the more curious you can get about what excites you, what you're passionate about, and every single one of you have a passion. That then creates courage to communicate. And do social media. I mean, I, I just actually shut down my one account that had 11,000 followers and I started a brand new account because I wanted to be more authentic and real to my intentions that has, you know, 380 people in a week or something or two weeks, which is great. I'm actually so grateful. I love the 380 more than I like the 11,000, to be honest with you. And it's not about a numbers thing. It's, it's really about that was an awareness I had. Of. I, I feel like that account wasn't me anymore. I wanted to accept it and I had the courage to communicate. I feel like I created an account that was out of integrity because I was intention on a business and money instead of sharing and being curious about what I, what comes through me. And so when you have the courage to communicate in that way, you could do questions with yourself, you know, our medium Mondays and, and here's what I know about mediumships. You could do a blog post, you could do a podcast, you can interview people. You can, I mean, when you start to realize just how unique your gift is, you want to get curious to share it. When, if it's meditation, if you are, NLP, if you're hypnotherapy, I mean, you could literally have a lifestyle, you could do a lifestyle post, you know, every Saturday I do lifestyle posts. You could do your own. You want to answer questions for people. Hey everyone, I just had this really crazy awareness about how miraculous I am or whatever that is, how miraculous this world is. And I, and I, I want to answer questions for people during this time. Um, maybe it's, maybe it's not about money, but you know, you say, I, I really have this deep passion of marriage and helping people through difficult times in marriage. So I want to share with you how to overcome marriage difficulties in this time or any time or retirement. I mean, each one of you, there could be so many crystals, mugs, pens. I mean, there's so many things that you could go into. How do you use social media as an educational platform for you to share your experiences so other people can find a newfound clarity through you? That is the whole point of having spiritual gifts. It is not to... I need to, whatever, it's, it's to educate, it's to share. How many of you learned something on here? It's to educate. From the educate, then you can empower, or activate, or teach, or coach, or business, or become a real estate agent that is doing crystal gritting. I, I mean, there's so many things that you can do. It's, it's, I mean, you could be someone that has plants that are unique. Most of the people that I, I, I feel we get so caught up in that we need, to, we need to coach, and we need to do this, and it needs to look like that, and if we're not coaching, or we're not this, then it's not right. Just use it as a platform to educate. Just simple. Come into the awareness, come into the acceptance of who you are, communicate your courageously to educate. From the educating, that's how you have five billion added to your net worth. Because he was like, I don't know why we need to have this much, but I just feel like we need to educate about ventilators. I, I, I have no idea what was going on in that room, but I can promise you whatever was going on in that room wasn't logical. I can promise you what Jeff Bezos is going on in his, his mind is not logical. <laughs> Same with Facebook. 
I can promise you majority of governments right now, it's not logical. Like we're, what the US is printing $20 million right now extra to give you, to, just to give you an idea of frequency of money, like how to receive money. The, the US is literally making up $20 million right now. I mean, I mean, out of thin air. It's out of no, I don't even know where it's coming from. It's just a piece of paper that's just coming. And what, it, what is money? Money is a medium of value received. And 20 million was just made. So when, when you look at that, courageous to communicate, I think the people that are doing that are right, educating. We literally have a problem. There's a, a virus, there's an economic problem. We need to educate people on money or we need to educate people to get jobs. I, we gotta do something. I don't think someone sat there and logically said, if we print $20 million, that's gonna do this to the economy in five years. No, I, I don't think they're that, they're there. I think people are following their intuition of holy shit, this is a massive problem, we gotta do something. And if you just knew, holy shit, there's a massive problem with people understanding themselves and understanding how they wanna be in the world, holy shit, I could do something, you're gonna stop asking these questions that are distracting you. Um, I'm trying to feel if there's anything else. I think those are the major things that I, that I come in through for that one, courage to communicate. But oh, oh yeah, this one. So how do you use social media? Um, so people get so caught up, right? Well, there's this platform or that platform or, or this or whatever that it is. There's all these platforms. Where do I start? Well, you, you've just lost, you, you just lost momentum now. You just lost the awareness. You just lost the acceptance of the momentum of your courage to communicate. So just go on. I feel like I got to communicate something. I got to educate or this thing's coming through me. So I got to write it down. I got to type it down and I, I, I got to share it. Or I got to do a video with what, like I said, if it's questions with I'm just using my name. Questions with Colleen are our, our colorful Tuesday tailors because she's always got all these colors with her. Like, and what these these Taylor wanted to go into this. Oh, this is a great example. Okay, so let's say if Taylor wanted to do a weekly thing, whatever, because she has all these colors all the time, and all these colors mean different things. They actually align. The colors that you wear align to the chakra system, and it, every time you choose a color, actually every time you go to the grocery store, you can start looking at what are most of the fruits and vegetables and clothes that you wear. Whatever colors you're choosing is because that chakra is really wanting you to pay attention to it. Um, Taylor could literally do, I'm going to do chakra Tuesday. And I literally woke up today, everyone. And I wore a blue, a blue shirt. I had no idea, but I realized then I looked at the chakra and it was this. So what I want to share with you today is become aware of how colors are always speaking to you. Density forms are always speaking to you. Money, health, clothes, food, anything dense is always feedback in the spiritual world for something to be activated in you. Obviously what I said, we can't have everything. We got to have a focus point. But that's a great example. If, if you were Taylor and you are, maybe some of you like colors. I'm just using Taylor as an example of, of, of these things. But you could do this on a social media. And how hard is it for you to release once a week to say, I want to release once a week something about educational, about whatever spiritual gift that I have. Just go there. You now just got the courage to communicate. From the awareness that you have a spiritual gift, you see things in colors. You understand things in colors. You know our acceptance, that's how you see the world. And now you're going to communicate that courageously in a creative way or not so creative on social media. And it's not about how am I gonna make money for it, it's just about how can I, 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 I'm going to receive from this because other people are receiving themselves. I'm offering an opportunity for people to receive. And I'm already in the awareness that if I accept myself from my own acceptance, I'm, going to allow someone else to accept themselves. I'm going to allow someone to experience life in a different way. And if you can just go there, then how to receive money by channeling your spiritual gifts and galactic gifts, you just did it. People are gonna reach out to you and say, hey, I wanna know. You can say, hey, you know, I have once a, once a month, I do a Zoom meeting, a coffee with Z or tea or dinner, wine. We all get on Zoom because I have a bunch of people all over the, the world that want to do this. And we, we talk about these things and it's $5 to join per month. And all the other things can be figured out. The PayPal, the Stripe, the money, the money will come. The receiving is there. You're already in the receptive state because you're educating. You're using the things that are naturally born to you, your awareness, that your natural ability is to you. You are aware, you're accepting, communicate courageously and consistently. So it's just in, in a way that feels good. It's not like it has to be some huge epiphany, you know, it just, it just remember that in the acceptance of you, other people found a newfound acceptance. In the acceptance of you, there's a newfound way for people to experience life that they were denying. Think of many of you here, you were denying this of yourself. 
maybe not denying, but you weren't, you weren't feeling alive with it. And so that's what you, you want to do, right? All, all of us are do, be whatever. We all want to feel alive. It's the biggest thing, right? It's why we're here. I mean, with cancer, even why, why are we here to, to feel? And in that feeling this, we want to create that connection. And from that, from that connection, we then want to move to it, move, move, move to wherever we think we want to go. So let me know if that makes sense. <laughs> I hope that adds a lot of value um, with it. There, so again, awareness, acceptance, courage to communicate. Let me know if there's questions. I'm happy to stay on and do a question for everyone, or stay on and do questions. And I'm also going to show you guys, I'll pull a card I meant to do at the beginning. But um, I just created a new Oracle deck. So for those of you who don't know what that is, or some of you probably do, but it's called Magical Creatures Oracle Deck. Anyway, I'm going to pull a card for you all. It's going to be on Amazon at the end of the month, but you can pre-order right now. I know some of you already have, who <laughs> know me, but uh, there's four colors and it's basically, this is helping you guide your spiritual gifts in business. So let's see, we're going to pull a group for the abundant live stream right now. Okay. This is for each one of you. Ooh, this is a great one. Okay. Reptilia. So it's an orange background, which means everyone here, the world wants you to focus on adventure and travel. So it means that a lot of you, from what I'm feeling in the field, is you're, you're, you may be very serious about how to receive more money. You may be really like, how do I receive it? And we want to get you into adventure. How do I play with life? And here's what Reptilia says. When we allow ourselves to see the world with a fresh perspective, new realities, people, and things naturally flow to us. There is always an abundance of new things flowing to you from this world. I, you guys saw me shuffle this and it has the word abundance to literally tell you like, okay, let me see if I can show you here. I didn't make it up. It's right here. Not all the cards have the word abundance on it. Not all of them have it. So, um, this is very, they shows you like the special things of this, but how to receive, right? I just use my natural gifts. So these are creatures that I see in other dimensions. So they're all different. There's like a bunch of them, but these are real creatures that I see in other dimensions in their place. And they exist on the physical plane right here. And um, yeah, they just all are different. So 52 cards, four different colors. Each color has a different meaning. I share that in the thing, but or in the intro. So um, of, of the cards, but um, yeah, they're, they're, like I said, they're on pre-order right now. So message me, you can get it. They go on Amazon live at the end of the month, but they'll be more expensive. Um, so anyway, sharing that. And then let me know I'm here. I want to be here for you guys. I dropped a lot of wisdom bombs. So what questions, what are you feeling? Um, how are you feeling about money? That's like, yeah, I can ask you, how are you feeling about money after this? How are you feeling about your gift? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. They are future pets. I will have a zoo in the future. For those of you who are psychic, you'll, you'll see that. Um, but, it's, but, uh, yeah, I'll have a zoo in, in the future with these. So yeah, Lori. So any, but any questions for you guys of, of just, you know, how do you feel about money? How do you feel about your spiritual gifts? Do you have any questions while I'm on here live? Uh, oh, we almost went for an hour um, that I can share with you. Our, our own, I know I dropped a lot, but if not, it's totally fine. I just wanna make sure I'm, I'm super available for you because I shared a lot. So you're welcome, Shannon. Um, yeah, of course. So let's do a, I love that. Let's do a quick, uh, it is a feminine. Okay, let's do a quick light language activations. Um, so if each of you just want to um, uh, close your eyes when you get a moment. I'll, I'll, I'll go back to the questions after this light language. So I know Taylor really wants this, but I, I, I'll, I'll go back. So, um, okay. So everyone close your eyes and what I want you to do, this is actually a brand new thing. It's not mine, but I want you to do this to start out is you're going to do this three times. So you go with a V, V-O-O. -O. And you can do that three times. So I'll do, I'll do it with you starting now. So. Infinite divine intelligence, source, universe. Having a purple light come around each of these beautiful women. 
What I want you to imagine is there is a heart that exists in your gut. And I want you starting to feel almost a pulse from your stomach, from your gut, from your sacral. You can put your hand on your stomach where your core is. Breathing. And I want you to feel that you are birthing the true you, the true essence of who you're meant to be. The remembrance of everything you already are. You're birthing that human right now. Feeling that person in your core. Feeling that soul activate in every area of you. I want you to have a hand on your stomach and just keep breathing. With your hand on your core, breathing in, remembering that you're already accepted, you're already whole, that how you perceive the world is very real, that how you interact with the life and the beautiful creations of you is all in your control. Remembering that your heart exists in your gut, not to always follow what feels good. And slowly you can open your eyes, you can come back into your body. And um, I'm going to answer some of these questions, but after that, when you come back, feel free to share how you feel. Um, I just wanted to share that. Amber, um, I never thought of money as being feminine. Yeah, I can go into this, Amber. So when you think about money, right, It's we put it in wallets. It's protected in banks. Money is always protected, right? The feminine is always flowing and it needs to be protected. So it's not out in the open. So money is definitely a feminine energy because it's literally put in wallets, it's put in banks, it's always protected. So that's how do we get to that. Um, I feel expression. I love my spiritual gifts and seeing them in this. Yes, you mentioned you could see you could see coding of the virus. Can you explain that? Yeah. So how? I guess if you just see the world right in light and colors, I, I can see lots of things in coding, right? But and I was sure like you could see cancer in coding. You could see an implant in coding. You could see a chakra system, you could see a creature, like these creatures I showed you, these are like very, like I see these all the time in the field. I can see these in people's bodies. This castle, this is actually a castle I visit quite often in my meditations. So these are things that I can see all the time in people's bodies. So how do you, how do you do the coding is, it wouldn't be the question of, of I guess, are you're asking just like more of it. It's just understanding what's moving through the field. Um, what's moving through your body, what feelings, what expressions, what calmness, what gifts, what's, what's moving through you. And from that moving through, how can you see it? Because we, we, can, we can only perceive things. So even let's say if your gift is feeling, high, highly sensitive person, you, you've got to find a way of how can you see the sensitivity? How, how, do you, how do you see it to put a language to it so other people can understand, right? Because if I can't understand you, we can't communicate. We can't have that ground zero conversation I was talking about, right? So we've got to find that place of, of that coding of what can, what coding can we get a ground zero at? So let's say even politics, right? I don't think the Republicans, Republicans and Democrats don't get along, right? But the, I don't think a lot of countries actually get along. But right now, you know, everyone's getting along because there's, an, there's a pandemic and that's ground zero. The ground zero is the coding of a virus. And so coding is just things that 
how do we put a code into a language for us to have a, a conversation and a co-creation for someone else to find themselves through me and I can receive an abundant money in the form of that. Um, thank you. You're welcome, Amelia. Um, Dari, can you tell us more about highly sensitive and how it's a gift? Yeah, so uh, each of us are highly sensitive. There's two things here, right? We have a light body. So we have our physical body. We have a mental body, a light body, astral body, all these different bodies. Um, highly sensitive person we experience life through feelings. So if you, if Dara, a really silly question for someone to ask you would be, what do you do? That question would have to drive you nuts. So a better question would be, tell me what you're passionate about. You've got to feel as a sensitive person. Like, you know, I was on, I was on a call with a client earlier today and, and they're writing an ebook for something. And I said, let me feel it. I said, let me feel what it means to be alive through you. And then, and then what they said is that she can hear when the raindrop hits the the cement that makes her feel alive when the snowflake and she sees the crystals now that sensitivity at the same time there's abuse that was occurring in a past thing that she had to come up but you feel things so you've got to understand how you can communicate through feeling that's expansive and how how to not take on be like i'm so sensitive i can't go anywhere i'm locked in my house or i'm so sensitive i can't do anything that means that you have a weak weak light body so you've got to understand how do you build up stamina and endurance to feel things and consistently find that ground zero. And obviously, like to me, I mean, I don't, I don't think, probably most of us in here, we don't maybe like big gatherings, we like smaller groups or smaller gatherings. So you wanna find, how, how do we find that, how, how do we move into environments that are feeling based? So even if I go, I love um, electronic uh, shows, like I love electronic, but I don't really get lost in the people, I get lost in the music. So I'm going there because I'm highly sensitive to the frequencies, because what is electronic? electronics frequency and to me I'm like going home in electronic shows to me I'm like oh yes there's like I, I, I feel a sense of home that I can't I feel like I can't experience on planet earth anywhere else and that's to me even though I'm highly sensitive that's a great way where I'm not a victim of my sensitivity where I can't go and sure there's people doing drugs there's weird things but I'm not there for that I'm I'm tuned into the sensitivity of the music and what that's bringing to me and what that brings to my work and my life let me know if that makes sense Dara Suffering good, selfishly, that was for me, but I love, no, that's amazing, Taylor. Amazing, I love that. It made me something feel special. I love that, it's amazing. I heard you do that today earlier. Yes, Lori, um, and that was so beautiful. I have goosebumps all over, yay, I'm so happy. Okay, awesome. So I hope I answered all of those questions. I can stay on for like another couple minutes if you guys want, there's anything. I'm so happy. Thank you for allowing yourselves to receive you through the light language. I know that was a short one. Um, I do longer ones too, but I wanted just to do that one. I knew it was really beautiful. Uh, and Taylor, I'm so happy you asked me. I'm grateful you asked me. Thank you. Um, but any other questions you guys have, I'm super happy to answer about awareness, acceptance, courage to communicate, social media, any of it, um, let me know um, if you have any other things. You're welcome, Lori. Appreciate you, Taylor. I'll give it like just another minute just to see. Yeah, Amber, you're welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Dara. Thanks for sharing your Friday with me. I feel so grateful. And yes, we'll all talk soon. You guys can reach out to me on social media. Seriously, don't be nervous. Uh, I love communicating and talking. So whatever I can do to help you and any experiences you have, feel free to reach out. So sending you enormous amounts of love and gratitude. And um, we'll all talk soon.